Hi guys, this is Akhla Kamid. Welcome back to my channel once again. Now guys, if you remember a few days ago, I did a video on a quick rundown of uh, Exposure Time 7. Well, in this video, I'm going to go slightly a bit deeper because it, it was a quick rundown video I did and it was a new software at the time. So I wasn't too sure where the features were and that kind of stuff. So this video, I'm just going to go a step further just to show you what this... Uh, software has got to offer now i'm using this image as a uh, as an example as a demonstration because obviously it wouldn't look right if it's just a model in a plane uh, in front of a uh, black backdrop with this one this model is stood in front of a sat in front of a building so it makes more sense just to use this photo so basically uh, if you remember in the uh, last video what, what i was going to show you was i couldn't remember i couldn't remember where to find it so what i was actually going to show you was basically selecting uh, uh, subjects within the uh, image so what i mean by that is let's just say for example this uh, building in the background of this model now i just want to show you how easy it is in exposure 7 to actually select uh, certain uh, subjects so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new layer so I just click on add layer there and then I'm going to click on this paintbrush option and then you go into selection now this is what I was going to show you in my last video but obviously I couldn't remember where everything was because it was a new software it still is new it's only about a few days old so and um, once I've gone into selection you see that tool there this uh, polygon tool with the plus sign so let's just say i'm going to go around this building now notice it doesn't have to be perfect and there's a reason why i'm rushing it and i'll explain that in a few moments once i've gone all the way around it but you know to actually go around a certain uh, subject in this software is actually brilliant compared to uh, adobe photoshop and i'll show i'll explain why so let's just say i've gone around that notice it's covering the model's uh, face and hat but it's not going to do that now because you see you see how easy it is to go over that now notice it's not perfect i'm still uh, going on the sky slightly and there's a reason because i'm going to show you something very uh, interesting now because it's not perfect the good thing about selecting uh, subjects in an image using exposure 7 software is now you see these points here now notice i can actually drag these up can you see that so if it's not perfect the first time round you know you can always uh, make adjustments so this is just a rough sketch i'm just showing you uh, how easy it is to select select something in an image i mean not even photoshop has got this uh, feature here i mean look how brilliant that is now notice the building is only red because that's what we've originally uh, selected i mean just look at that guys now you're probably thinking to yourself well it still is difficult because uh, this line this selection tool is actually uh, thick but there's a solution to that as well so if i go on to a uh, relative width now if i click that notice how the selection around it is very is going very narrow can you see that so if i've gone there can you see wide and thin so when i make it thin it gives me more flexibility to uh, adjust the points even more now this is actually a very useful tool for when you're you know selecting certain things we've even got relative width here can you see so it's kind of like similar to uh, the base width but all it's doing there is just narrowing it down for you and the edge options so you can also expand these as well now this is how easy it is and i'll tell you something else guys if i go on to uh, notice these presets on the side now if i hover over them now the good thing is notice how uh, it's bringing a preset over the selected uh, 
a top uh, over the selected subject so in my case it's the building now you can actually add a preset over the selected uh, selected uh, subject so in my case the building and notice it's not applying a, a preset to the rest of the image only whatever is selected so only the building in my case i mean look how awesome that is guys i mean just look at that guys that that is actually a a beautiful uh, feature to use i mean obviously in the last video i did show you the uh, before and after so look at that so before and after notice the preset is only added to the building i mean i believe this feature is absolutely you know just brilliant look see it is absolutely awesome to select certain images uh, not even photoshop can do this so that's just one uh, good thing about the exposure 7 we didn't have this in exposure 6 so i'm just gonna reset that now guys so we're back to normal now the other thing is i'm just going to uh let me just select this again so i'm gonna add a layer again as we did before and then what i'm gonna do here is just go on the paintbrush tools make sure selection is added now this is what we originally uh added before when i was going around the building now let me just select this and let me just show you this guys now this is actually similar to th this one but different so if i click on now notice that if I click on, uh, just tap on the uh, subject, can you see what it's doing there? It's selecting only the building. So what it's trying to do is try to match the uh, color tones with the building. So now notice if I go like this, let me just show you something. If I go on the top here, now notice it's uh, highlight selected a bit of sky as well. Now there is a solution behind that which is why i've shown you this feature in the first place now you see the one with the x so if i click x and click on the sky see notice how it's uh, excluding uh, if i've gone too overboard if i've selected the sky notice the uh, x is kind of excluded everything out of it now this is this itself is absolutely a brilliant feature you know because it makes the uh, selecting highlights so much easier for you it's just uh, you know unbelievable so let me just show you that again i'm just gonna add a layer select the paintbrush now let me just show you that again so say like if i go like this now i can also uh, put the base width down or up can you see that kind of like the size of a paintbrush so I can it makes selecting selecting things easier. So I can technically speaking, I can just rush it like this. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So notice I've gone on the green here. Again, if I click on X, get rid of the green because it's on the bushes here. Now notice how it's uh, actually getting rid of that. I'm just gonna gonna get rid of that here there you do you see that guys it's got rid of it now that again you know it makes uh, the reason why i'm showing you this is just to show you how easy it is to select things not only that but it's also easy how to add a preset on the selected subject i mean i don't know any other software that will only uh, select a uh, part of a preset to a selected subject it is absolutely brilliant guys now again that is uh, another great feature and let me just show you something else here i'm just gonna take a quick sip of water sorry guys yeah so as i was saying guys so that is also another thing you know if i just click on add layer here and then i'm going to go on let's click on here just something else i'm going to show you so let's just say i'm going to go on the selection tool again so let's just say i want to select this bit of a i'm just going to do this quickly just to show you guys now technically speaking i'll go over the building again but this is just a quick 
idea to show you something. Now, good thing about this is now if I click on, where is it gone? If I click on, uh, let's just say, hue, if I click on hue, now if I just, it's what it's doing, it's trying to, uh, can you see the yellow is highlighted because it's trying to uh, match the colors of the building and then technically speaking, you can actually mess with the colors so I can stretch them out a bit and then I can sort of like color match. Can you notice what's happening in the building? What it's basically doing is trying to color match uh, the building so you can tamper with the colors here. That's a great way of bringing out the colors. So that is one way of doing it. Another thing I want to show you here is uh, if you see this cog over here, if I click on here, then click on customize. Uh, let me just go up first. So I want to show you something. Click on this here, go on to customize workspaces. Now again, guys, this is absolutely brilliant as well. So basically this, uh, this feature here, here is, uh, so if you look over here, it says basic color sharpening noise reduction. Now, if, you, if we look over here to the uh, right here, it's got the same thing. So color sharpening noise reduction, uh, you know, tone color. Now, the good thing about this is this is actually customizing your workflow. So let's just say, for example, I got the basic up here. So let's just say, for example, I don't want the basic here. I want it to be somewhere over here. I want my color to be on top here. So if I bring, look, if you look over here and as I drag this down, I want you to pay attention to here as well. So I'm gonna bring the basic down to there. Can you see what's going on there? So the color is on top now. If I wanna bring the sharpening down, can you see now my basic is in the second tab? So, you know, you can actually uh, say like, if I want my, uh, let's just say the look, if I want my looks to be, let's just say here. Can you see how it's changed? So, you know, that's another good thing about it. You can actually customize your workflow. But I always tend to have the, uh, I always tend to have the basics on top because, you know, that's how I prefer them because it's basics. I'll just bring there. So that's how I uh, tend to uh, put my workflow. But this is just to give you guys uh, an idea. So yeah, that's also another good thing about the uh, exposure time seven. Now, I'm just going to close this. Now, uh, for those of you who are watching this video, I'm not sure how many of you are a DaVinci Resolve user, but you know in DaVinci Resolve where you can uh, go on preferences and create your own shortcuts. Well, in this uh, in this software, it can do the exact same thing. So if I go into edit, now if you are a Mac user, I think you've got to click on uh, Exposure 7 in the corner. But if you're a Windows user like myself, you go on to edit, click on preferences here. And then uh, actually we're in the same, uh, uh, you know, same category as before. So technically speaking, you don't have to go into edit and preferences. That's just down to you. But, you know, you can do it from here as well. So customize workspaces. And then what we're going to do is shortcuts. Now here you can actually uh, customize your shortcuts as well. So let's just say, for example, um, I've got my... Uh, by default, f rotating an image to the left is control left. So uh, let me just demonstrate that to you now. So I'm just going to go on press control and left arrow key. Can you see that? This is the way by default it's uh, customized. So let's just say I want to customize that. Uh, go into uh, shortcuts. Now, technically speaking, you can, to rotate left, I can double click that. So add, so let's just say, let's just say I, here I want to press on, uh, let's just say L as in left, but it's already in use. So I have to think of something else. Let's just say Z. 
so already in use as well so that's already in use let me just try uh, let me just try m and then add so that's not in use so basically what we're going to do is uh, press the m control left so let me just try that control left can you see that so this is where you can actually customize your shortcuts you know very useful it has a similar a similar uh, similar feature in davinci resolve here now i can i press control and left but now i'm actually pressing m so just by pressing the m it'll ro rotate as well because I, that's how i've set it on my uh, customized shortcuts but yeah so that's how you would uh, do it so i'm just gonna get rid of the uh, m here so yeah that's how you would normally customize your uh, that's how you'd normally customize your shortcuts but you know like i said guys you can just go on forever with this you know it's absolutely brilliant like i, I did say you know guys there is a there is like a 30 days free trial as well so you know you got nothing to lose with 30 days free trial i mean you know why not just go for it you know just go for it just try it out if it's not your thing then you know you just cancel it i mean even when i drag a preset let's just say i want to use this as a preset now the presets on here are so amazing that i don't need to do any uh, editing maybe slightly so for example i've dragged this preset in here if it's not perfect which it isn't uh, i can just make slight adjustments so i can sort of like you know maybe decrease the contrast highlights i can just sort of like go above shadows you know that kind of thing or maybe sort of like you know mess with the uh, tone curves you know if it's not perfect if it's not perfect you know you can always make slight adjustments you know you can even add this in uh, photoshop as well so let's just say if i close this i've already shown this in my first uh, video anyway but i'll just uh, show you it again you know so let's just say for example i want to open the, this image here then what i would normally do is go into filter exposure software the exposure times seven click that and then what i'll do is i'll bring that image into the uh, exposure seven then i can sort of like you know maybe add presets or something you know and good thing is it's got all kinds of uh, maybe cinematic look i'll just show you the categories look at all these categories we have you know and again as i said before if it's not perfect when you add the preset you can always you know make adjustments but yeah guys as i said you know just try it out i'll leave links in the uh, bottom of the screen try it out uh, 30 days free trial you can see under here it says uh buy enter license i'm on i'm actually on a trial myself but i will end up buying it because i feel it's very useful so you know version 7 is just new so try it out guys if you do like it just buy it if not if it's not your thing then just cancel it within 30 days but yeah guys that was just to give you an idea and i hope you did like this video if you did guys if it did help you please give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching